Hi, and welcome to In Between the Sheets with me, Dean Curie. Joining me in bed today is the lovely Kirsty Wilbeck and Michael Whelan. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Thanks for joining me. No problem. We've got a fun issue to talk about today. Are we excluding lesbians? Michael, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I feel I'm the most qualified person to talk about this <laughs> Thank goodness Michael's uh, here. Thank God I'm we're, here. We're it's alright guys, I'm here to solve everyone's problems <laughs> as a white cisgendered male. <laughs> what, are, what, what are we being excluded okay, from? Okay, well, uh, as a community, as a queer community, mm -hmm. um, I often feel like it's all about gay men, gay men, gay men, which is great being one for me. <laughs> but um, obviously it's not. Now, since we've got you here, let's let's talk about the women's side of things. You know, we have men-only spaces. We have some venues that it's, you know, this is a men's space and you girls need to remember it and things like that. Are we as a community forgetting about the L in our GLBTIQ sometimes? How do you feel? Well, until this topic was posed to me, I didn't feel excluded at all, but now I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about, I'm now, now I feel downright vilified. <laughs> I don't know though, because there's there's um, women's spaces as well. There's women's nights, there's women's events. Um, there's a lot of general queer events. Um, I don't, I, me personally, and I'm not representing the broader community. No, we all <laughs> speak for ourselves. <laughs> we all speak for ourselves on this. We don't speak yeah. for any one Opinions else. are my own. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the sheep. Yeah. Maybe the sheep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Opinions are mine and tickets. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I, I don't. I don't feel excluded. I feel like there's uh, yeah, there's constantly events on for the rest of us. Um, I mean, it'd be it'd be nice to be able to come along to some of your events. To no, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no, no one's come to your events, Dave. No, no one. No. I'm so hurt. <laughs> okay. Well, what, yeah. you, you feel the same way, Michael? Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely agree with what you were saying about in the in the wider community. There's more exposure for the the, the gay man. Um, and yeah, it would be great to see more more women and, and and trans people. You know, the whole wider net of the community in in those spaces together. It's just, it's one of those things that feels like that's sort of the way queer culture has it's always kind of been. worked. Well, I, I, maybe it's because of a combination of like things like from our past, like men and HIV and mm. how that, that moved the imagery of men into the arena. I mean, yeah. is it an underlining, misogyny is not the word, but I mean, it's important to remember that as an entire culture, uh, annoyingly women don't sit on the same level as men still, no. even in relation to pay, mm -hmm. you know, in relation to, to so many levels of society. And I sometimes mm -hmm. wonder whether or not that plays a part in it as well. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's really difficult to know because there's so many factors as well, because I feel another variable could be that uh, p perhaps men go out more often. Perhaps men have a more active social life as well, and I'm saying perhaps very yeah. pointedly because <laughs> I mean I, I for one am out and about yeah. very mm. frequently. Mm. Um, however, I I note how many lesbian venues have opened and closed rapidly yeah. over the years, mm -hmm. both both in Melbourne and also yeah. in my hometown of Canberra, and it's it's gotten me thinking over the years as well. Like, is d does the female um, identifying community not go out as much to support those venues so that they can continue to to remain open or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's possible. Yeah. And it's not for a lack of those spaces being unsafe spaces or not no. good, like, well-run venues, because a lot of those spaces were, were excellent venues. Exactly. So it's Yeah, it's not on the part of the, of the own operators. It's, yeah, I, I, I sometimes have that, that feeling where the, the female identifying community doesn't have the... The, the the outgoing social connectivity that that say gay men do and like you said I think it may may stem from that the the gay history in the, in the Western world being mm. propelled so quickly so quickly forward by the HIV AIDS epidemic yeah. um, that we sort of were forced to rally together and have a, a a tighter sense of community in a way and again my perspective not not necessarily everyone I know it's so it's it's just it's it's really interesting. I'm wondering. I mean, and you go to the, you've been to the girl on girl nights, yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah, I have. And are they heaving? Uh, they can be. Yeah, they can be. I mean, I mean like there, with there's anything, certain ones around it, town yeah. that yeah, that <clears throat> are heaving most months. But 
I notice. I don't know. I don't know what it's like in in your venues because um, <laughs> I'm not You're a gentleman. Not a but um, except quite frequently, um, you'll see at these women's events, uh, whole groups will arrive, yeah. and they're all they're already all friends. The whole group goes, and they enjoy the night out. Yeah as a group and you you might be able to get in there and have a chat to certain people but everyone sort of sticks in their little crew oh okay you know and from even from the the mixed queer events that I've attended I've noticed that there's been a, a lot less of that yeah and yeah that's just an observation of the, of the nights that I've been to where it's more, hey guys, let's all go and have a drink at this place tonight, and then everyone just everyone goes, everyone goes together. Yeah, I mean, I'm a person that can just walk into a scenario and go, yeah. great, I'll stand in the middle of a room with a drink and make a new friend. Yeah, but everyone's not like that. Sure. You know? Yeah, we can't all be like Dean. No, we and the, and this guy probably helps you. We yeah, can't yeah, all be yeah. like Dean. Have, around you, town with this have guy. you met my sheep? <laughs> have you met my sheep? Yeah, bah. I don't know. I don't know what animals <laughs> I'm doing, but um, yeah. Well, I, I guess I mean, there's the girls' nights that are going on, and it's, yeah. it's just. There's not I, as much I remember of it. when mixed nights used to be gay men and women. Now I feel like not not in a larger uh, sorry and women and lesbians. Mm -hmm. Ga gay men and lesbians. Now I feel like mixed venues are gay men and fag hags. Personally, I want to go back to playing pool with with the girls. I loved having a pool match with the girls on a Sunday Arvo with with just random lesbians that would be hanging out at the bar and it was so much fun and I guess we just need to find a space where we can all just chill together and it all be okay. But yeah. maybe it's on us and not on the venues to create that kind of environment. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 It's on us to do it. Yeah. It's a very we are the world moment. It I'm is, feeling. isn't it? Yeah. Let, let's crack out the pool cues. What have we got to lose? Exactly. Crack out the pool cues. <laughs> have a bit of fun with it all. You know, it's the way to go. Yeah. So we're not excluding women. We're not um, necessarily not including women. But we're somewhere in the middle, and it's time to. Mm. It, it's never too late to up the ante. That's what we're. Never too late. Yeah, never yeah, too I late. Think so. Never too late. Never, never too late to include anyone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we've just got to, you know, spread your wings, open things up a little bit more, and have some fun, as we all join each other in bed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today in bed, Pleasure. guys. No problem. Anytime. Interesting girl on girl conversation. Boy on boy on girl. And one girl. <laughs> it's been good. This is between the sheets. Thank you for joining us in bed. We'll see you next time.